Okay, so it's difficult to overemphasize how much of a game changer the no-code revolution really is. It's democratizing the process of building websites, apps, and web apps without writing a single line of code. However, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the three best builders for mobile apps. Let's go. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Startup Studio. My name is Christian Peverelli. I am the co-founder at We Are No Code. And if you're interested in getting tips and tricks to launch your next business idea or your tech startup, then please subscribe to the channel. It helps us continue doing the work that we do. Okay, so the first thing I wanna mention is that there are no best platforms when it comes to building mobile apps. There are different platforms that come with different benefits and there are always gonna be certain trade-offs that you have to consider when choosing. And don't forget to stick around until the end because I have a little surprise for you. Okay, so the first platform platform I want to talk about today is a platform called Glide. You can go to glideapps.com to check out their website. So Glide is an app builder that's particularly well known for transforming spreadsheets into relatively simple apps. This mobile app builder has a very intuitive interface. So this is one of the big advantages of working within Glide. Now, of course, the downside of that is that you can only build relatively simplistic apps leveraging this platform. With Glide, you can build simple mobile apps, you can build project management tools, Tools, things like budget trackers, directories, inventory management platforms, or dashboards. Now there are currently about 85,000 apps that have been built with Glide from different entrepreneurs and companies. One example of those is Naps. Naps is a marketplace for Afro-American hairdressers based out of the UK. It allows for users to be able to book salons in the UK and the salons to be able to market their services to end customers. And this was an app that was built in only three weeks using Glide. So the learning curve for Glide is very low. Now, of course, the flexibility of what you can build is a little bit low as well. So if you're a complete beginner trying to build your first app, this might be a gateway drug into no code for you. And by the way, they have a free and a paid tier that you can take advantage of today. And you can check out the links to these platforms in the description. Now, one thing that's really worth mentioning when it comes to Glide is that they stopped supporting the iOS and Android stores. So you're actually building a web app that looks really nice on all devices and it looks like an app, it feels like an app, but until Unfortunately, they have taken away that feature. So if that's an absolute must for you, this might not be the right platform for you. Okay, so now number two in the list is Adalo. Now Adalo is an all-in-one builder that allows you to design, build, and also publish your app in the App Store. It has a drag and drop interface and you can use these pre-created components and then you can create the logic behind those components as well in plain English. Now I would say that Adalo allows you to build things that are slightly more complex than Glide. And it also has a little bit more flexibility when when it comes to adapting the app. So Adal is a little bit more versatile. You can build a wider range of mobile apps than Glide. It might take a little bit longer to learn how to build some of the more complex apps that you're looking to build, but generally speaking, it is easy to use. You can build comprehensive project management apps. You can build dashboards. You can build client portals. You can build basic social media platforms. Adalo has a pretty good amount of integrations and they also have a components marketplace to be able to leverage other people's work. They currently have about 1 million apps built on their platform. They have a free tier to get started and they also have a paid tier. And a good example of an app built with Adalo is Joy Bloom. This is a meditation app that includes journaling and also has a timer as well as courses. So a fun example of what can be built with Adalo. So there might be a little bit more of a learning curve than Glide, but you can also build slightly more complex apps with this builder. And by the way, if you're trying to build your app business or you have a startup idea that you're trying to build but you're not technical, then you can download our free course below where we teach you how how to launch your startup as a non-technical entrepreneur. Number three in the list, Flutter Flow. Now over the past two years, Flutter Flow has been gaining some momentum and that's because it allows you to build more complex apps than the two other builders that I've mentioned earlier. And it's specifically designed to create mobile native apps, which allow you to go in the iOS or Android store. Now Flutter Flow has way more flexibility in terms of how you can customize your apps, what you can build. It allows you to do deeper API work, which means that you can bring in external sources of data, like AI or traffic sources and generally allows you to leverage more complex features within your app. It also has deeper collaboration mechanisms, more flexibility in terms of the design, and you can even add code inside of the platform. So it's kind of a low code platform. You can get access to the code itself, which for some people is super valuable. Now all these things are amazing, but of course it comes with a downside. Flutterflow has a much deeper learning curve than the two other platforms that I've mentioned earlier. So if you're a very beginner, this might not be the right platform 
platform for you. And if you're at the early stages of building your startup, it might not make sense to build the first version of your app leveraging Flutterflow. It might make sense to go to market way quicker so that we can start getting customer feedback and that we can come back to the table and then build out a next version of the app. A couple other things that are worth mentioning about Flutterflow is that they connect to external databases. So Flutterflow does require a little bit more technical knowledge when it comes to building apps with no code. And a good example of an app built with Flutterflow would be Tagalong, which was built by an Olympic professional after the 2016 Olympics who realized that some people wanted to train with high performing athletes so they could quickly improve their level as well. It's known for its training plan viewer, which is quite innovative, as well as having a great tracking system and inbuilt notifications. And there are also success stories from Flutterflow like Valley, who were able to raise money from some people like Jason Calcanis or Antler and House Capital who are all in Silicon Valley. So as a conclusion, it's super important for you to consider where you are within the startup process, what your skill level is, and what the actual features you need to build are. And the last thing I'd say is that consider whether or not this absolutely has to be a native mobile app or not. If you haven't already, subscribe, share this video with someone who might need it. And until next time, my friends, let's go.